Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this song called Excuses by Oli Murs. So here we go, give you a preview of the chorus section that you're going to learn in today's lesson. It goes like this, check it out. Repeat. get right into it so here we go melody and chords uh, because that's the foundation of a song and from that you can add extra stuff to it afterwards so here we go uh, we'll break it up into four parts it's easier to learn the first part goes like this right hand starts on the D flat here for four times one two three four up to A flat and then E flat F E flat F G flat F E flat D flat Okay, that's the first part for the right hand. Let's do it again. So it goes like this. goes four D flats, up to A flat, and down to E flat F, E flat F, G flat F, E flat D flat. That's it for the right hand for the first part. Once you get that left hand, one chord here, the one chord is D flat major, which is D flat F, A flat. Okay, so with that D flat major chord in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts, fourth D flat and D flat major together. Right, continues like that. Okay, one more time. Let's go like this. Take it up. Like that. Okay, now moving on to the second part. Right, continues. Go C up to A flat, and then E flat F, E flat F, G flat F, E flat D flat, and that's it for the second part for the right hand. One more time. It goes C up to A flat. And down to E flat F, E flat F, G flat F, E flat D flat. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, one chord here, the one chord's A flat major, which is A flat C, E flat. Okay, so with that A flat major chord in mind, two hands together goes like this. So it goes uh, C and A flat major together. Like that, okay? You can do a octave high if you want. Like you can go like together. Like that, okay? Now, back to back, the two parts I've learned so far would be played like this. Check it out. Okay, now moving on to the third part. Right hand continues, goes D flat up to A flat, F, E flat, D flat, D flat, D flat, up to A flat, F, E flat, D flat. That's it for the third part for the right hand. Let's do it again. It goes D flat, A flat, F, E flat, D flat. D flat, D flat, A flat, F, E flat, D flat. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, two chords here. The two chords are B flat minor, which is B flat, D flat, F. Second chord is G flat major, which is G flat, B flat, D flat. So with these two chords in mind, B flat minor and G flat major, the two ends together goes like this. D flat and B flat minor together. Next D flat and G flat major together. Okay, one more time, it goes, together, together, like that. Moving on to the uh, last part, okay? So the four, well, before we do that, back to back, all three parts we've learned so far, we'll be play like this, check it out. Moving on to the fourth and last part now. Right hand continues, goes F, F, down to A flat, and then F, F, A flat. E flat, G flat, F, E flat. That's it for the right hand. One more time, it goes F, F, A flat, F, F, A flat. E flat, G flat, F, E flat. That's it for the right hand. Once you get that, left hand, two chords. Two chords are D flat major, D flat, F, A flat, and second chord, A flat major, A flat, C, E flat. So with these two chords in mind, the turn together goes like this. Right hand starts in the first F, second F and D flat major together. 
after A flat, A flat major by itself. Like that. One more time, it goes. Skip up. Here. And there you have it. Back to back, the four parts would be played like this. Check it out. So once you get all the melody and chords, all the notes and rhythm correct, then you can start to think of other improvisation and decoration patterns to put into it. For example, the left hand can do rhythmic patterns, you can do octave and arpeggio patterns, right hand you can just harmonize based on those chords too. So you can do something like this. that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you did make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally i have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these videos for you to enjoy and learn from so most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel but anyway also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music play and sing and a lot of other cool stuff so make sure to check that out as well as for now that's pretty much it enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.